Hello witches, welcome back to the channel. This is Hectaria. This is going to be our weekly tarot card reading for October 16th through the 20th, 2017. Now we have the dark moon coming up on the 19th this week. So that will be playing into this reading as well. I don't know if I'm going to have the time to do a separate reading for the Dark Moon, um, especially this week. So, the energy of that will be in this reading for the week itself. Now I align myself with the Most High God and the Holy Spirit, Hecate. Please communicate the truth to me through these cards, so that I may be guided for the highest good of all. Thank you, and so let it be. Please give us your divine guidance for this week and this dark moon so that we can use these energies for our highest good, greatest success, and joy. Thank you and some of it be. Okay. So, a major energy the first card going into the week the magician I'm sorry if there's a glare the magician card is about using your will using your will power to get things done to start things To begin the manifestation process for your goals. The Magician card tells you that you already are your greatest tool and that you already have everything that you need to do whatever it is that you need to do. The resources are already surrounding you. And if you don't see that, um, then this card is telling you to think about your, what are your goals and then look at the resources that you have around you and figure out a way that you can use what you have to manifest and to attain your goal. Because with this card coming up, it means that there is things available. There are tools around you. There are resources around you that you can use to manifest your will. Whatever that is, whatever goals you have, whatever it is that you're wanting to manifest. The tools are surrounding you. And not only that, but you yourself are your greatest tool. Your own words, your own actions are very powerful and charged this week. This is a beautiful and powerful card to start the week on. So the Magician card also is about letting the universe flow through you when we're in alignment with our true will when we are being our best self as the magician is when we are going for what we truly want our true will we are in alignment with the universe because the universe is manifesting through us 
as above, so below, as within, so without. You are the universe. We all are a part and piece of the universe. And so those desires that we have, those yearnings or ambitions or you know wishes whatever your true will is whatever you're being called towards whatever you want is you know that is the universe working through you toward that end so whenever you go for that and you change yourself to be in alignment with going for it with working towards it then you truly are in your most powerful um, position you are the magician and you will figure out a way to attain it and to get it done so that's a great card to start the week on and the next card that we have is Temperance. I always feel like there's like a major glare when I record on this laptop. The Temperance card comes up. This is about... In this spread... In this particular reading, I feel like this card is telling you to remain adaptable and changeable, flexible with the way that you get things done. Kind of like I said with the Magician card, um, write down what your goals are and then figure out a way that you can manifest it with the tools that you already have available to you or with the tools that you can easily obtain with the resources that you already have or that you can easily obtain that's what this card is i feel emphasizing stay adaptable in your plans know what your goals are and what you're working towards you know, have like an ideal blueprint, but know that things can change. Okay, three plus one equals four, but two plus two also equals four, okay? That's what this card is telling you. There's more than one way to do things. There's more than one resource. There's more than one tool that you can use or that you can get a hold of and still get the same outcome or similar enough of an outcome that for all intents and purposes it's the same thing this card also talks about patience and um, timing being aware of that that patience is a virtue and that um, some of the goals that you're working towards are going to take time to from point A to point B um, there might be several steps to take in between but um, that's not a bad thing that's actually good because you know things do change as we progress through life sometimes what you plan out for um, and then what you end up attaining there's a journey there and you change things around you change it changes you it changes what you want and stuff like that so it's always good to stay flexible and stay adaptable throughout the process think of it like um, temperance what that means tempering like whenever you're forging a blade or a knife or something um, blacksmithing or smithing <laughs> I don't know the right word 
but um, it's a process of forging. And alchemy we call it the great work. So it's um, taking something of a lesser virtue and turning it into something greater. And that is a process. And anytime we work towards a goal, we're going through that process um, with ourselves. Just the process of trying to attain something transforms you. It makes you more better able and a greater gives you greater virtue in the process. Working towards it, even when you fail, even when you don't attain what you wanted, you still were transformed in that process and you still were tempered and you were made wiser and more experienced and all sorts of you know magical transformations that you go through in the process of um, working towards your will the great work once again whether you attain what you wanted or not whether you fail or succeed um, that process still has a positive effect so i don't know why i kind of went off on that tangent but stay adaptable and stay changeable and stay flexible through the processes. And hang on. The final card that we have for this week is the Seven of Swords. So the energy with this card is kind of it's an energy of like what am I trying to say? Let me take another drink of my tea here. Okay, the Seven of Swords, because I know what this card means, but I'm trying to see how it fits into this spread. The Seven of Swords is a card of opposition. Just of itself, the energy is opposition. It means that someone could be uh, manipulating you you could be manipulating others. Um, there could be deceit and deception, theft. Someone's trying to get one over on you or take what is yours. And you might be the one that's trying to take from others. With this energy, um, being beguiled or beguiling it's kind of just it's kind of perplexing me because <laughs> the other two cards were like so amazing and then this card is just thrown in on the end like the monkey wrench and the plan so maybe that's why we need to stay adaptable. Maybe that's why we need to stay flexible this week. And when we're working towards these goals and stay changeable because maybe there's some sort of um, energy like this going on and that's going to make us change our minds about certain things or uh, someone could just throw a monkey wrench into your plan in general and you're gonna have to like change your approach or timing once again with the temperance card patience and timing of things so maybe I will go ahead and try to do a dark moon reading this week just so we can get more <laughs> clarity on this situation but it seems like Either way, you do hold the power. You are the magician this week. 
I mean, you're the magician always, but especially this week. Um, don't lose sight of the magician as your center, okay? You are your greatest tool no matter what happens. No matter what's going down, you are your greatest tool and you can always um, be adaptable to situations, whatever comes up. And you can always change things to still conform to your will in one way or another. So whatever this energy is coming up towards the end of the week, um, just stay centered in that um, magician energy. Stay centered in your ability to um, adapt and cause the changes. Um, what am I trying to say? No matter what changes happen um, on the process to attain your goals, as long as you stay adaptable and stay on course and in alignment with your true will, you will figure out a way to continue on um, despite any obstacles or whatever this weird energy is coming up towards the end of the week. So I'm sorry that this is the reading um, for the end of the week, but I always give it to y'all straight what the cards say. So make the most of it this week. Um, it is the waning moon to the dark moon, so this usually is a time of severity and intensity and um, almost clashing energy with other people in general anyways. So that could just be what this means. Don't let anyone take you off course or any situations with other people take you off course for manifesting your will. That could just be all that card means. Um, and just stay in your power this week because you are really powerful this week. Um, and yeah, I'm, I'm just going to go ahead and try to get the Dark Moon reading up if I can this week. So thank you all for watching. Take the advice, use it as you will, where it fits in your life. And I wish you well and success as always. Hail to the witches, hail Hecate and blessed be.